Hi everyone, this is Ravina. Welcome to Pseudocoders. Today we are going to look at problem number 33, which is search in uh, rotated sorted array. Uh, this is a medium problem and as you can see, Read code has actually updated their UI. So you can see which uh, companies it has been asked in. It has been asked in Amazon, Bloomberg and um, Microsoft. There are more. If you click on these three dots, you will be able to see the companies here. Okay, let's start by reading the question. Uh, it says there is an integer array nums sorted in ascending order with distinct values prior to being passed to your function nums is possibly rooted at an unknown pivot index k where k is from 1 to the length of the array such that the resulting array is nums of k nums of k plus 1 till n minus 1 and then nums of 0 to k minus 1 which is 0 indexed. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is an array which will be, if it's rotated at index 3, then it becomes uh, as 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2. Uh, given an array nums after the possible rotation and an integer target, return the index of target if it is in the nums or minus 1 if it is not in nums. You must write an algorithm with O of log of n runtime complexity. So uh, let's first try to understand uh, what uh, they are asking us to do. The initial thing is that suppose uh, they have a sorted array. So for example, you have one, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, and then they are rotating it at a particular index. So what does rotation means is, suppose I rotate it by one. So this five will come here. And then it will be somewhat like 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So in this way, they are going to rotate it k times. They are not going to tell us how many times they have rotated it. And they are going to give us a target. We have to find index of that target in the array. Uh, if we do not find that element, we have to return minus 1. So that is the question. Um, now let's see how we can solve this. Okay. Uh, we can start by, so we, if you look at this question, if, if you don't read that line where, you know, it says you must write an algorithm with O of uh, log of n runtime complexity, then you can just write a for loop and then search for the array and then just return an index. It's just a one liner, but we have to implement it in log of n complexity. So that's why we have to uh, take an approach of a uh, binary search. So let's see how we can do that. We are going to need three variables here. One would be low. Low would be the starting index, which is zero. My high would be the last index of the array, which is six. I'm going to also have a mid. I'm going to calculate mid every time inside my while loop. So once I have low and high, I'm going to write a while loop. Uh, my while loop is going to go till my low is less than equal to high. And at that point, I'm going to calculate a mid. My mid would be low plus high divided by 2. So low plus high is 0 plus 6 divided by 2, which comes out to be 3. So right now, my mid is 3. Uh, since my mid is 3, uh, it's here. So this is the left part and this is the right part. This is my mid, this is my low, and this is my high. Cool. Uh, once I do that, I'm going to check first is my nums of mid uh, equal to my target. So is a 7 equal to target? No, it's not. Okay. The second check I want to do is to check is my pivot, I mean the middle um, element, is it greater than the, than the lowest element I have? So is 7 greater than the lowest element? Yes, it is. So I was talking about this. Is, is, 7, is 7 greater than the lowest element here, which is 4? Yes, it is. Okay, so at that point, I'm going to check. I'm going to see if my target lies somewhere there. So I'm going to check if my target is um, greater than my uh, nums of low, which is 4. So I'm going to check if my target is greater than nums of low and my target is uh, less than, uh, sorry, one second. Yeah, my target is greater than nums of low and my target is less than, uh, less than my nums of mid. 
uh, sorry greater than equal to nums of low and my target is less than nums of mid what happens at that uh, during that is uh, i want to make uh, i'll understand whether it goes to the left hand side or do i have to search on the left hand side or the right hand side let's see if that's true for us is my target greater than my nums of low is zero greater than nums of low no it's not so this particular condition fails so we go, now we know that it's not on the left hand side it's on the right hand side so that's how we update since we want to move to the right block so we want to move to uh, this block right here i'm going to have to change my low i'm going to update my low to uh, 3 my my low would be actually updated to mid plus 1 so 3 plus 1 is 4 so my low actually would be here cool since we already checked for the middle element we can change our low to mid plus one once i do that i am going to update my low my low is now four yes now we again calculate the mid since we adjusted our low our mid would be low plus high divided by two my low is four my high is six ten divided by two is five so my mid is going to get updated to 5. My mid is going to move from here to somewhere here. Once I have my mid in place, the first check I'm going to do is, is my target equal to my middle positions element? Is my target equal to this? So is 0 equal to 1? No. Okay. The next condition for me was that is my um, middle is my middle element greater than the low element? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna do some checks now. I will check next is, is my target greater than my low, or greater than equal to my low, and my target is less than equal to middle. So my target zero, is it greater than equal to low? Is it is zero greater than or equal to zero? Yes. The second condition, is my target less than mid? So is zero less than one? Yes, that means we have to move on the left hand side. We have to take this window. One, if we have to take this window, that means I have my low in the right place. My low is right here. I have to update my high. So my high would become mid, my, uh, mid minus one. So my high is actually now mid is five. Five minus one is four. So my high is here on four. The next, next, I'm going to go again to the while loop. My while loop says while my low is less than equal to high. Yes, go inside. I'm going to calculate mid. My mid, uh, my apologies, my high, uh, my high was updated to four and my low was already four. So my mid would be four plus four divided by two. So uh, that average of four would be really four. Since I get my mid at 4, I'm going to check is my uh, nums of mid equal to my target. So is nums of 4, which is 0, is 0 equal to target? Yes, I'm going to return that index. So I'm going to return 4. So let's see how we can transfer this into code. Let's move to our uh, code base. One second. Cool. Uh, I really like this new UI. Okay, so uh, let's see. The first thing, uh, really, we, all, we always think about corner cases, right? So the first thing that I can think of in terms of corner cases is that um, what if the uh, array is just of length one? If it's just of length one, then we can just check for the element and return, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check if length of nums is equal to one. If that is true, then I'm going to check if my target is actually equal to my nums of zero. If that is true, then just return zero. If um, that doesn't work and then we all have to go with our computation the whole thing that i just explained so let's start i'm going to have a low 
of 0. I'm going to have a high, which is length of nums uh, minus 1. And now comes my while loop. While low is less than equal to high. If that is true, then I'm going to calculate my mid. My mid would be um, low plus high divided by 2. Uh, this double slashes here. This means that I'm going to just take in an integer since if this converts into decimal, uh, if I try to uh, use it as an index, it will break. So in Python, you can use double slashes to just take out the integer out of it. Okay. So the first condition was if nums of mid is equal to my target. If that is true, then you just return the mid. Else if my nums of uh, mid is actually greater than e or greater or greater than equal to my nums of low. If that is true, then I have to go through those conditions. I have to check for my target now. Since my left side, uh, since my pivot is greater than my lowest number, that means that the left hand side is sorted and is not rotated. Okay. So the first thing was to check if my target is greater than equal to my nums of low and my target is actually less than my nums of mid if uh, that lies on the left block then we go to the left then we just uh, update my high to mid minus one so I'm going to do high is equal to mid minus one. remember that when we want to move left that means my high will be somewhere here I want to bring it here so my high will change if you go to, want to go to the right always your low will change so if that is true then i change that otherwise i change my low so my low would be mid plus one otherwise what if you um i'll have a else condition here on uh, second yep here saying that if my pivot is actually less than my low that means that uh, my my left hand side is actually not sorted so i will look on the right hand side so i will check if my um, target is actually greater than or equal to my nums of mid if my target is actually greater than nums of mid and my uh, target is less than my high uh, actually yeah sorry uh, it should be my target is greater than nums of mid and my target is less than equal to nums of high because i want to also make sure that my last element is included so if that is true if my target is actually on the right hand side that means i'm going to change my low so my low becomes mid plus one otherwise i change my high so my high would become mid minus one if if you are not able to find anything if you did not find an element that means that this whole program is going to run and then it did not return anything remember just remember a case where we wanted to return minus one if uh, there is no element so i'm going to return minus one in the end so if you are not able to find an element then we just return minus one let's try and uh, run this okay let's try and submit yep it was accepted so uh okay so it's the new view i'm doing it for the first time so it reads 50.43 uh, percent of the uh, python solutions okay so let's talk about the space and time complexity as you can see uh, from here we wanted to actually implement it in o of log of n and since we are using binary search and we are going we are processing half of the array every time we are reducing array in half that means that my space complexity sorry my time complexity here is actually log of n talking about the space complexity uh, i am actually just using three variables here low high and mid and all of them are actually holding constants so that is why the space complexity of this algorithm becomes o of one 
now this uh, solution is going to be on my github channel and i'm going to uh, this, uh, I'm going to include the link in my description below and I'm also um, on discord right now. So if you uh, just want to uh, just want to connect chat or have any questions, feel free to connect with me and please leave a thumbs up and comments uh, that really helps my channel. Have a good night. Bye.